Hey, welcome back. This is the Clay Golem, and this is our Foundry VTT series where we've been making the Dragons of Stormwreck Isle. I've got the name right for once. Uh, in this video, we are going to finish updating our journal and stuff. Now, you've seen this before. Again, unfortunately, not one of those exciting videos, but some of you might uh, enjoy just watching it. Um, but not an awful lot to do here. We've done everything except the Clifftop Observatory. So this is the one we're going to work on. So I've got the module open in the other window as before. And if you recall from previous videos, if you uh, bothered to watch those, because uh, again, they're not exciting. What we actually want to do is just remove all of these locations that we put in before, uh, because we're going to create one new journal. So if I go to here, look under my journals for Clifftop Observatory, I'm going to get rid of all of these deletey deletey. Now I'm not going to walk through this whole thing uh, just one at a time because uh, you've seen that before it's not very exciting so we might do this as a little bit of a speed run okay let's clear these out okay so for those who haven't been paying attention let's uh, create a new blimey excuse me uh, create a new journal this is going to be clifftop observatory we're going to put it in the clifftop observatory here's our new journal we're going to create our first page, which is going to be the intro, which is a text page. And here we go. We're going to copy and paste. Uh, this is what I mean. These videos aren't particularly interesting. I get that. But for some of you, it might be useful. Um, talk you through a couple of the bits that are a bit more interesting. But most of it, most of it isn't interesting. It's a bit dull. Uh, make sure we put that. Is that one? So yeah, uh, and you don't want to listen to me just talking through this. So I'm going to do this first bit, get us started, uh, and then we will just speed through some of this. So again, I'm just going to clear that formatting to make it all a bit nicer. Close that. I've got my intro right there. Um, now we know that we can um, drop stuff in. So here we've got mention of a Spark Render, um, uh, Renara's in here, etc. So it talks about in recent months, ancient blue dragon called Spark Render. Now, I believe under our monsters, we had our uh, blue dragon wormling. So remember, we just uh, copied that in, didn't we? Didn't we? I've got to edit it, idiot. <laughs> I haven't done this for like all three minutes, so I've forgotten already. So drag it in where we've got it edited, and I can drop it in right there. So arrogant blue dragon wormling. Get rid of my original text called Spark Render. Uh, da, 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 da. And it also talks about about five days before a bronze dragon wormling. So we can uh, we can drop that in as well. Now this is uh, yeah. Let's drop that in as well um, into there. It's okay. So a bronze dragon wormling. Bosh, job done. Okay, close that. We've got those links directly in. Uh, nothing else we need to worry about doing in here. Um, there's a bit about running and stuff, which is no drama. Uh, what I will do is just add in a line down here. Okay, and then afterwards I'm going to put in the uh, the description that they want us to read out. Now, a couple of times we've we've made changes to that and updated it. Um, oh, I actually, having said that, this is for approach by land. So we want to read that if we're approaching by land, uh, and this is approaching by water. Can't type. Approaching by water. In which case we're going to read out something different. Now I don't really see that I need to worry about these things. I'm going to describe them as I see fit at the time. I probably wouldn't use these actually in the flow of the game itself. But for completeness they are there. Um, anything else we need to do? No, we're straight into the location. So I'm going to close that. We've got all of that in there. And just as a reminder, we're going to use this new function in the journal add page where we're going to add a map location. 
the first location we need to do is overlook. So we create that. Uh, this is D1. Uh, we're going to copy the text they want us to read out. I make that bold so it stands out for me. I put a line under there and then any additional information that the players may or I may need as the DM when running it. Okay, good. Now I need to remember, here we go. Uh, I need to remember, can I just, yeah, drag that over there so I know that's my map note. Um, with the intro, oh, look, yeah, hadn't done that before. So I can drag the intro out there and just shove that over there. That's good. So what I could do is probably come up with a different icon, uh, my own icon to let me know, you know, an exclamation mark or something to let me know that that is what I use to directly access the journal um, for the beginning of any new scene. So come in there, it's like, oh, right, that's all the background info. Uh, rather than having it in the sea. Important? No, not really. <laughs> but I could do that. All right, I'm going to whiz on through the rest of these and uh, I will see you on the other side.
So that's all the journal updated. Uh, everything's good here. What I do need to do is uh, remove these tokens just so we're ready to kind of play this area. So uh, yeah, not very exciting. Sorry about that. No. <laughs> Consider it everything, uh, everything updated. Uh, all the skill checks and stuff like that I've added therein as well, which is good. So this is kind of ready to go. Um, one thing I did want to do, just reset that fog of war, is just check my encounters that we had put together. Let's just close everything else up. So in encounters in Stormwreck Isle, uh, sea Grove, Compass Rose, Clifftop Observatory. So we had the Sturges, we had the Blue Dragon Wormling, that's all in there. Now, yeah, okay, so what we did do is we did add in already all of the bits that they could find. So I had already done that, which is good. So this one's kind of ready to go. So if we just uh, have a quick look at our scenes, our beach encounter is done, Clifftop Observatory is done, Compass Rose is done, Dragon's Rest is done, uh, the intro was done a long time ago, and Seagrow Caves is done as well. Um, and we've updated all of the journal entries, Compass Rose, Dragon's Rest, Introduction, and the Seagrow's Caves, and of course we've just done the Clifftop Observatory one now as well. Now what's interesting is I created these folders because I've got all of these different journal entries for all of the different bits. I probably don't need them all in different folders now because we've got one bigger journal per area. Um, so I'm wondering if it's actually better just to drag all of these out and get rid of these. Um, be really, really careful here. Just making sure those folders are, uh, are empty. <laughs> get out. Because uh, as you can see, delete all and you can't recover it. So don't mess that up. Uh, and because we got relatively few for this adventure, um, yeah, sorry, I'm concentrating. Because we've got relatively few for this adventure, uh, I'm not too worried about, um, yeah, to having those uh, nested in their own different folders. I do want to make sure all of these are in Stormwreck Isle, though. So open Stormwreck Isle. That's all of the journals we need for running this entire adventure all in one place. Lovely jubbly. You can see I've already got the, the folder for Fandelva there as well, which we'll be going on to expand on um, shortly. But this is kind of it ready to go. Um, just having a look through here, I was looking for other options of where we might want to use tiles uh, now that we've looked at tiles. And going through each of the scenes here, um, we've got our flashy little lights here. We absolutely could use a tile for that instead. Um, I'm not going to because I like my, I like my, I like my rainbow bridges, uh, so I'm leaving them in place. I'm quite happy with that, but I could use a tile for that, um, which is yeah, whatever preference you have. Uh, beach encounter. I don't think there's any need to have tiles for this. Um, not clifftop observatory. We've been there. Uh, was there anything we could use tiles for this? Yeah, possibly for crates and things, but. Again, I, I think we would just be doing that for the sake of it. I don't think that's going to add anything at this point. Um, what about our introduction? Uh, again, do we do we need to bother with that? We've got our introduction thing there, and we've got our overall. Hang on, that's intro. Your journey with uneventful. Ah, there we go. Right, <laughs> that makes more sense. So that actually leaks leaks all the way through to the other journal itself um, which is interesting wasn't expecting it to do that but that's okay um, so introduction yeah that's fine we don't need any tiles for that um, and Seagrow Caves we've managed without tiles um, could we put tiles in here I suppose we could but I don't really see how they're going to improve what we've already got and that's the point it's, it's not just doing it for the sake of it um, so those are all good. We've got our campsites that we've done, which we know we will use tiles for under our prefabs. We've got our our camp light or our campsite, depending which we want to use. What I'm actually that's a good point. What I do want to do is can I Oh it is hidden. Okay, so we need to check to make sure the characters can't see the, the face on that or replace that. Uh, in fact actually, let's do that right let's do that right now. Like, <laughs> let's do it. Fix it right now. Fix it. Um, 
Okay, so what I want to do, I don't really want to upload. I want to pick from one I've already done, haven't I? Use image from the foundry server. Right, yes. Uh, question is, where did I put it? Uh, it wasn't in maps, was it? Campfire 2, that's the one. All right, so if I use that, get rid of that. Um, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Okay, so they've both got the same icon now, so I need to be careful whether I'm picking campfire or campsite, but that just makes it slightly nicer now. Um, and also, if they can see that icon, all they're going to see is a small fire within the fire. So not an issue, but they won't notice. Okay, so sorry, got sidetracked. Happens a lot, doesn't it? Um, I was on scenes. So Woodland Cave, that's all ready to go as a... Oh, we've got some random encounters that we haven't done yet, so I might use potentially one of these maps for that. Um, we've also got our woodland clearing uh, and we've got our woodland path. Obviously, this is a different style, this one. I might recreate this. Or oh, what I have got on here, just spotting this on the, our tile controls, we've got our old tiles in here. We don't need those anymore. That's it. Got rid of those. Brilliant. So we've got our campsites and things. Now, the only thing left to do to complete the entire of um, the Dragons of Stormwreck Isle is the random encounters. So if you remember, uh, I'm just really trying to remember what they were called. Uh, one of them was called um, something about owlbears, wasn't it? <laughs> I can't remember what they were called. Uh, now they're owlbear or, or something like that there was. Um, so what I will do, like a campsites folder, which needs to be built out further with other ones, I'm going to start creating a scenes folder with random encounters in it and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a series of folders within my random encounter folders and each of those folders is going to be for example CR1, CR2, CR3 so I can match those in their power compared to the party at the time then we can create random encounter tables that are relevant to the party at any given level because sometimes they'll have an easy encounter sometimes it will be bang on the right difficulty and sometimes it will be extra hard and the table will tell me what the encounter is and I can go straight to the right folder and go there's the encounter I can pull that scene out immediately and just run with it now I don't want to get hundreds and hundreds of encounters that's going to get silly um, but it might be I use the same scene for several encounters and just have to depend which icons which um, which monsters I have hidden or visible as an example uh, what do you think of that idea do you think that makes sense we could do that I don't know it's just an idea um, it's a bit like the campsites just having things ready to go and pre-organized uh, that's all it is so um, I was going to say this has been a short video. It kind of hasn't been a short video, but it will be a short video for you because we're going to speed up all of that junk in the middle there where you're just watching me doing boring stuff. Uh, let me know what you think about our next steps about creating some random encounters. Uh, if there's anything you think we still need to do on this or we could do on this, you would like to see us have a play with, uh, let us know. We're going to, once the third edition of the game engine uh, is a little bit more stable, we're going to go back and looking at some of the um, effects and things like that to make sure that we are able to apply those and see if we can put some graphics to go with some of the spell casting such as you know bless shield and stuff like that thanks for watching guys take care see you in the next one